A court in Japan has reportedly sided with the Japanese daily Asahi Shimbun rejecting a lawsuit filed by some two and a half thousand plaintiffs living in Japan and abroad. They were demanding the newspaper publish an apology for its coverage of Tokyo's wartime sexual enslavement of women. With more on this and other news from around the world, we turn to our Noara. Aram, this uh, court ruling is a massive blow to the plaintiffs. Yes, that's right, Gia. Most of them live in the U.S. and they filed the complaint to the Tokyo District Court in early 2015, demanding the paper run adverts in major American and European dailies to apologize for its past stories. Now, these stories were written 20 to 30 years ago, and they include a testimony of late Japanese author Saiji Yoshida, who said that he forcibly took women to make them serve as the so-called comfort women during World War II. These articles were cancelled by the SIA Shimbun three years ago because the paper determined that Yoshida's statement was false. The plaintiffs, however, claims the paper's coverage stains their reputations as Japanese nationals and damaged their personal rights. But according to local media reports on Thursday, the court sided with the Asahi Shimbun, saying the articles did not constitute libel against the plaintiffs because they were reports about the former Japanese military and government.